Jean-Étienne Vachier, called champion, it led a Republican French division in many important battles during the French Revolutionary Wars. He became commander-in-chief of the Army of Rome in 1798 and of the Army of Italy in 1799. He died in early 1800 of typhus. His surname is one of the names inscribed under the Arc de Triomphe, on column 3. Career, championnet enlisted in the army at an early age and served in the Great Siege of Gibraltar. When the revolution broke out he took a prominent part in the movement, and was elected by the men of a battalion to command him. In May 1793 he was charged with the suppression of the disturbances in the Jura, which he quelled without bloodshed. Under Picagru, he took part in the Rhine campaign of that year as a brigade commander, and at Weissenberg and in the Palatinate won the warm commendation of Lazaro Hoche. At Floris his stubborn fighting in the center of the field contributed greatly to Jordan's victory. In the subsequent campaigns he commanded the left wing of the French armies on the Rhine between Neuwed and Dusseldorf, and took a great part in all the successful and unsuccessful expeditions to the Lahn and the Main. In 1798 Champion it was named Commander-in-Chief of the Army of Rome which was protecting the infant Roman Republic against the Neapolitan Corton, the British fleet. Nominally 32,000 strong, the army scarcely numbered 8,000 effectives, with a bare 15 cartridges per man. Leading the Neapolitan army, the Austrian general Karl Freier Mack von Liebersch had a tenfold superiority in numbers. A champion that so well held his own that he ended by capturing Naples itself and there setting up the Parthenopian Republic. But his intense earnestness and intolerance of opposition, plus his penchant for looting and an unwillingness to kirk atrocities by his troops, soon embroiled him with the civilians. He became involved in an unseemly quarrel with Guillaume Charles Fipolt, one of the representatives on mission, was relieved and subsequently imprisoned for a short time. The following year, however, saw him again in the field as commander-in-chief of the Army of the Alps. This, too, was at first a mere paper force, but after three months' hard work it was able to take the field. After Barthélemy Catherine Joubert was killed at the Battle of Novi, champion that assumed control over the Army of Italy. The campaign which followed was uniformly unsuccessful, and, worn out by the unequal struggle, champion that died at Antibes. In 1848 a statue was erected in his honour at Valence. He was brave, full of zeal, active, devoted to his country. He was a good general of division, an indifferent commander-in-chief. Napoleon the figure of general champion that is linked to the traditional carnival of Frosinone where the puppet representing the general is carried around the streets of the city and then given to the flames.